selection and performance of 2D geometry continues to improve in AutoCAD 2017. A control in the Graphics Performance dialog box enables you to take advantage of improved graphics for capable devices. You can experience the performance increase if you have a DirectX 11 capable graphics card and hardware acceleration turned on. In previous releases of AutoCAD, the preview of objects as they're being created, moved, or copied could appear jagged. In AutoCAD 2017, line smoothing is supported during the preview of objects as they're being edited. They're displayed just as they will appear after the operation is completed. Also in previous releases of AutoCAD, lines with dot line types could be difficult to see, even with line weights applied. AutoCAD 2017 supports the line weight display of dot line types. In addition, line types with dash and dot combinations display round dots unlike previous releases that represented dots with very short dashes. This also results in a more accurate display of selection highlighting. Another subtle but useful improvement to line types with dashes and dots is the ability to select or snap to the gaps on those objects. You can enable this behavior with the new LT Gap Selection System variable. Similarly, the gaps are recognized by object snaps, enabling you to snap to the objects even when picking on a blank space. The appearance of closely spaced parallel hatch lines is also improved in AutoCAD 2017, displaying more consistent and accurate line spacing than in previous releases. AutoCAD 2017 offers powerful new tools for creating and editing center lines and center marks. You can access the center line and center mark tools from the Annotate ribbon tab. The centerline tool creates centerline geometry of a specified line type in association with selected lines and polylines. The center mark tool creates an associative center mark at the center of a selected circle, arc, or polygonal arc. If you edit the associated geometry, the center lines and center marks update accordingly. You can modify center lines and center marks with their grips. A multifunctional grip menu offers additional controls. You can also use the Properties or Quick Properties palettes to view and edit center line and center mark properties. Additional center commands and system variables let you further control the behavior and appearance of center lines and center marks. files are a common way of publishing and sharing design data for review and markup. In AutoCAD 2017, you can import geometry, true type text, and raster images from a PDF file to edit as native DWG geometry. If you already have a PDF file attached to your drawing, you can select it and choose the new Import as Objects tool from the PDF Underlay ribbon tab. You can import everything or pick a polygonal or rectangular selection around the geometry you want to import. A Settings option enables you to control how the geometry is imported. You can choose to keep the original PDF underlay, detach it, or unload it. You can also import PDF geometry directly from a PDF file that is not attached. Use the new PDF Import tool or even the regular Import tool which now includes PDF as one of the supported file types. If the PDF file has multiple pages, you can visually select which one you want to import or you can enter the page number. You can specify the insertion point, scale, and rotation in addition to the options to control how the geometry is imported. You can, for example, ensure that true type text in the PDF file comes in as text in AutoCAD. 
and if the PDF file includes raster images, they can be extracted as PNG files and automatically attached to your drawing. Since those images are referenced from the AutoCAD drawing, you'll want to check options to ensure the new PDF import image location is appropriately set for your workflow. The PDF file format does not recognize SHX text. When drawings with SHX fonts are plotted to PDF, the PDF stores that data as geometry, not text, so the SHX text is imported as geometry. Text with true type fonts is imported as text objects. AutoCAD 2017 offers a new tool that enables you to easily publish views of your drawing to the cloud to facilitate collaboration with stakeholders while protecting your DWG files. You must be logged into Autodesk to publish design views. If you are not logged in, you are prompted to do so before the publishing begins. You can choose to publish and display in your browser right away, or receive a notification on the status bar when all view processing is complete. Your current drawing is uploaded to a secure location in the cloud where 2D and 3D views are extracted along with the property database. If you choose the option to display in your browser now, AutoCAD uploads the drawing file and its references to a location on the cloud for processing and launches your browser. You can see the status in the A360 viewer as the file is being prepared for viewing. The processing time will vary depending on the size and complexity of the drawing, internet speed, and backlog queues for processing. When processing is complete, the design views are displayed in the viewer in your browser. Supported browsers include Chrome, Firefox, and other browsers that support WebGL 3D graphics. Closing the browser before processing is complete does not cancel the uploading and processing of the design views. If you chose the option to publish and be notified when processing is complete, design views are created in the cloud, but your browser is not launched. Instead, when processing is complete, AutoCAD displays a bubble notification with a link to display the design view in your browser. In the viewer, you can navigate the design view layouts and named views, turn layers on and off, measure, display object properties, and so on. If you are satisfied with the design view, you can share a link to it with other users by emailing, messaging, or posting it somewhere the recipients have access. Users who receive and click on the link will be able to see the design view in their browser for up to 30 days. They don't need to log into A360 or have an AutoCAD-based product installed. And they don't have to access the source DWG files so you can feel comfortable sharing views of your design. Coordination model functionality has been enhanced in AutoCAD 2017 with support for object snaps. Attach a Navisworks or BIM 360 glue model to your AutoCAD drawing so you can view it as an underlay. Then, simply use the standard AutoCAD endpoint and center object snaps to snap to precise locations as you create and edit your design based on the attached models. By increasing the default size of some dialog boxes and allowing you to resize others. With these enhancements, you can view more information with less scrolling. For example, you can stretch the Layer States Manager to display more layer state information at one time. You'll find similar enhancements to the Page Setup Manager, Enhanced Attribute Editor, the Insert dialog box, and many others. And there are other subtle enhancements to many of the dialog boxes. For example, in addition to the ability to stretch the insert dialog box to increase its height and width, 
it displays a larger preview image. And the name field now supports autocomplete, so as you begin typing a block name, it automatically fills in the rest of the name, minimizing the need for you to scroll through the list. Another example is the very subtle addition of U.S. survey feet to the insertion scale list in the Units dialog box. Another subtle but handy enhancement is the message which displays if you try to delete selected objects using the Delete key when the Pick First system variable is set to zero. You can avoid displaying this message in the future by selecting the option to always perform your current choice. Doing so adds the delete key message to the hidden message settings, which you can access from the system tab of the options dialog box. Tooltips can be very helpful for new AutoCAD users or even to help veteran users identify those tools they don't use very often. A new control on the Display tab of the Options dialog box lets you tailor the tooltip display to meet your needs. If you rely heavily on them, you may want to decrease the number of seconds before display so they display quickly. If you rarely use tooltips, try increasing the number of seconds before display. This allows you to take advantage of tooltips when you really need them without the distraction of displaying them when you don't. The HP system variable and corresponding ribbon control enables you to automatically create new hatches on a specified hatch layer regardless of the current layer. In AutoCAD 2017, the HP layer system variable has been enhanced so that you can create a layer that doesn't yet exist in the drawing and set it as the hatch layer in a single operation. The text edit command includes a new mode option that allows you to edit multiple text objects without having to restart the command. When the multiple option is selected, text edit repeats so you can continue selecting text objects for editing. An undo option within multiple mode lets you undo previous editing operations.